Here at Epley Airfield, winds were clocked as high as 90 miles an hour. I'm your neighborhood reporter, Katrina Markle. I just got done talking to a 17 year old whose plane landed slightly ahead of the storm, but he was still on the plane when the highest winds hit. The skies went dark and um, the wind started to pick up, so we were like, uh oh. Waylon Rayburn from Geneva, Nebraska was returning from a school trip to Ireland. He said the crew tried to deplane passengers quickly, but. People at the front of the plane weren't super, like, weren't freaking out too much because it must not have been moving as much as the back, and we were all the way in the back. So, like, to us, it was like. It was, it was scary. It was like shaking all over the place. Rayburn said it felt like a long time before they were able to exit. And then when they did, the jetways were being buffeted by the storm. It was like whooshing and rocking, creaking. Rayburn's mom was waiting in the airport and happy to finally be reunited with him. I normally cover Southwest Iowa. I spoke with the mayor of Minden who told me the damage there was relatively minor. Pottawatomie County authorities are still coping with five other natural disasters, but said early assessments indicate this storm wasn't as severe as it might have been. At Epley Airfield, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Katrina Markle.